Hi, Gary Galka from DAS. On the table in front of me is the K2 with shadow detection built in. It's sitting on a box uh, right there in the center of the frame. We're actually getting light from the back door. And if you look towards the front, you'll see we got some light from a window where our UPS area is. In a moment, I'm going to have somebody pass in front of that window between the window and the detector, which is approximately 35 to 40 feet. And I want you to watch what happens with a detector. Okay, what you heard were various tones. They're descending tones indicating that a shadow or an obstruction came between the detector, our SDD circuit, and that window. Now, you may not have seen anything happen but the detector has a digital sensitivity. And right now we have it on level three. It's extremely sensitive. So even in light areas where you have lighting, we can actually detect changes within the environment if it occurs within the line of sight of this detector. And we have a green light illustrating an increase in light level. And we have a red light illustrates a decrease in light level. And so we have ascending tones for increase of light and descending tones for a decrease of light. One more time, please walk in front. This recalibrates every five seconds. There you go. That's what happens if it sees a shadow. There you go. So that's it. This is a K2 STD. It's the same circuit we use in our millimeters, and we have a separate one zone shadow detector as well. This can also be used with any incandescent light that is steady state and stable. It can be used with an exit sign. It can even detect the flicker of a match. So this is something from DAS.